They are now at the temple, after crossing the central streets, attracting the attention of many people who point out to one another the previously blind man saying, it's the blind fellow who used to beg and now he has eyes. Perhaps it's one like him. No, it's certainly the same man. And they're taking him to the temple. Let's go and see. And the train becomes longer and longer until they all disappear within the walls of the temple. Joseph leads the young man into a hall, which is not the Sanhedrin, where there are many Pharisees and scribes. Joseph goes in with Bartholomew, and the five men follow them. The common people of Ophel are pushed back into the court. This is the man. I brought him here myself, because I was present, without being seen, at his meeting with the rabbi and at his recovery. And I can tell you that it was completely accidental as far as the rabbi is concerned. The man, you will hear this yourselves, was led, or rather invited to go where the rabbi was, by Judas of Kerioth, who is known to you. And I heard, and these two who were with me also heard, because they were present, how Judas induced Jesus of Nazareth to work the miracle. I now testify here that if there is one who ought to be punished, it is neither the blind man nor the rabbi, but the man from Kerioth, who, God sees whether I'm lying in saying what I think, is the only one responsible for what happened as he provoked it with deliberate manoeuvre. That is my statement. What you state does not cancel the fault of the rabbi. If one of his disciples sins, the master must not commit sin. And he sinned by curing this man on a Sabbath. He accomplished a servile work. To spit on the ground is not a servile work. And to touch the eyes of another person is not a servile work either. I am touching the man as well, but I do not think that I'm committing a sin. He worked a miracle on the Sabbath. That's why he sinned. To honour the Sabbath by means of a miracle is a grace of God and a sign of his bounty. It is his day. Can the Almighty not celebrate it with a miracle that makes his power shine brightly? We're not here to listen to you. You are not accused. We want to question that man. It's for you to reply. How did you get your eyesight? I've explained that and these people heard me. The disciple of that Jesus said to me yesterday, Come and I will have you cured. And I came, and I felt some mud being put here, and I heard a voice say to me to go to the Siloam pool and wash myself, and I did it, and now I see. But you know who cured you? Of course I do. Jesus, I told you. But you know exactly who Jesus is. I knew nothing. I'm poor and ignorant, and up to a short time ago I was blind. I know that, and I know that he cured me. And if he was able to do that, God is certainly with him. Don't blaspheme. God cannot be with those who do not keep the Sabbath, shouts some. But Joseph and the Pharisee Eliezer, John and Joachim remark, Neither can a sinner work such prodigies. Have you been seduced as well by that possessed man? No, we are just. And we say that if God cannot be with those who work on the Sabbath, neither can man make a fellow born blind see without the help of God, says Eliezer calmly, and the others nod in assent.
Are you forgetting about the demon? Shout the evil-minded enemies irritably. I cannot believe, neither you believe, that the demon may work a deed capable of making one praise the Lord, says John the Pharisee. And who is praising him? This young man, his relatives, the whole of Ophel, and I with them, and with me, all those who are just and God-fearing in a holy way, replies Joseph. The evil-minded ones, now held up to ridicule, not knowing what to object, assail Sidonia, named Bartholomew. What do you say of him who opened your eyes? As far as I'm concerned, he is a prophet, and he is greater than Elijah with the son of the widow of Zarephath, because Elijah brought the soul back into the boy. But this Jesus has given me what I had never lost, because I never had it, my eyesight. And if he made my eyes in a flash with nothing, except a little mud, whilst my mother had not been able to make them in nine months with flesh and blood, he must be as great as God who made man with mud. Go away, go away, you blasphemer, liar, corrupted. And they eject him as if he were possessed.